Third. September 2nd, okay. Hatavel House. Where the... Oh, that's why he called it Hatavel. It's to do with the orphanage. Uh... Where the rest of the war orphans and I lived together. I was always a little better at studying than the others, so I teach at the local school to help make ends meet. Going to work and coming home. Every Friday, we all gather together and have supper. There are children who go to school. There are those who work, like me, and children like Nageki who stay home. Our family is a patchwork of ages and lives, but we always eat together on this day. What should we have? We might have enough left over, or we could pull our money together and buy something. I had more work than usual last month, so I got paid a little more than usual. I'll get something nice. I'll head home and see what everyone else wants first. Did he come back after they all been killed? Maybe. But this day was different. Our home was surrounded by security vehicles. It's an attack by the Human Liberation Front. We can't let anybody in. We sent two human negotiations, but... Oh, great, they were shot. We're going to storm the place. Get back, it's dangerous. Hey, you, are you listening? I remembered angry shouts coming from every direction, but I couldn't tell what they were saying. The only thing I could focus on were the gunshots from inside. Today was supposed to be our day. No one has ever been missing on a Friday before. No one can disappear today. We have to be together today, no matter what. When I went in, the gunshots had stopped. All that was left were corpses and ruin and... Nageki? Ah! Who's eyeing? Everyone, everyone is covered in blood and mobile. The humans, the security forces and my family, what did we do? We had nothing. Our parents and our homes have already been stolen by the humans. All we had left were each other. Why do they have to keep stealing from us? Why? Why? Hey, Tori? You were outside? Good. Nageki, you're alive! Everyone else. I see. Nageki was hiding in the innermost room. He must have heard everything from inside his hiding place. Human corpses are scattered throughout the room. Nageki, were you afraid? I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault, Tori. I wasn't here when you needed me. Don't apologize, Tori. I don't know how I could live if you were gone too. When I found him then, I didn't notice, but none of the human corpses in that room had been shot. Ooh, nice room. This will be our room from now on. The house is too big for just the two of us. Right. It's a little lonely. Yes. Tori, what should I do? Isn't there anything I can do to help? You just have to be happy. And well, don't push yourself. We'll find something for you to do, okay? Aw, I really like it, Tori. I noticed almost as soon as we moved out of her travel house. He was never very healthy to begin with, but he was getting worse and worse. What would start out as a slight cold would turn into a heavy fever and go on for days. It was painful to watch. Was it really just his wee body? I couldn't do anything. Should we go get a doctor, Nageki? I'm fine. I'm fine. Nageki, wait. You still have a fever. Don't worry about the dishes. I'll take care of them. I told you, I'm fine. Don't. If you just say how you feel outright, I'll feel better too, Nageki, okay? But how about this? From now on, I'm fine isn't allowed. Oh, damn it. What do you... <laughs> Whenever you say you're fine, you never are. Okay? Go to bed for now, okay? Tomorrow I'm talking, taking you to a doctor. This is highly unusual. Nageki has a genetic condition which impairs his immune system. Impairs his immune system? All living creatures inherit defense systems against viruses and the like from their parents, and we call them the immune system. 
but Nagekis is abnormally weak. And that's why he gets sick easily? Indeed. He can become infected with diseases that bodies such as yours or mine would fight off easily. It is probably best if he avoids going outside, and that would bring him into contact with more dangerous viruses. He could become seriously ill with little or no warning. Please can you cure him? I'll find whatever money it takes. He's the only family I have left. I understand how you feel, but as I said, his condition is... hereditary. I've never seen anything like it. I'm sorry, but I can't help him. Damn you! Aww. We went to the main ho many hospitals and I talked to many doctors. They all said the same thing. I can't help him. Someone please save Nageki. Anyone! I'll do anything! We had been all alone, but we found a home together. And it wasn't taken from us. And now this? Oh, sorry, it was taken from us, it wasn't. Someone please help us. Please watch out to you, ass. You don't even know if goddamn ballerina butt's gonna turn up. What happened next? Soon, at the start of that year, a letter arrived. Oh god. It was from a researcher at the St. Pigeon Nations Medical Institute, a Mr. Issa Solma. I have received a report about a boy named Nageki Fujiro from a doctor at a certain hospital. I believe I know what his condition is. It is extremely rare, so my fellow researcher and I would be grateful for a chance to assist in curing it. We hereby invite him to come study at St. Pigeon Nations. We believe that solving the riddle of his sickness will bring great advances to all of both sides. The medical centre will pay for his tuition. St. Pigeon Nations is a school of great prestige. Our curricula and facilities are among the best in the world. The medical centre is located on the school grounds. We propose that he live in the centre out of concern for his delicate health. He will have access to professional medical expertise any time he should need it. Please consul consult with the rest of your family and if you are interested, contact me at the following address. I will be waiting. Issa Soma. This is amazing, Nageki. I'm glad we went to so many hospitals. I need to spend an invitation like this. I don't want to go. I want to stay with you, Hitori. But you will be able to go to school. I can only teach you what I know, and there's a lot that I don't know. And you'll be able to make friends. The doctors there will help with your illness, so you won't have to be sick. Do you not want me here, Hitori? Of course I do, but I'm worried. If you were to get really sick, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I think it'd be better for you to stay with the doctors. I'll be lonely by myself, but I can wait until you're better. Become strong, Nageki, and then come back here. I'll wait for you, however long it takes. Okay. That's why he said he couldn't love Yui in his route. He was waiting for Nageki. And so Nageki rolled uh, in St. Pigeon Nations. Yeah. There had been a lot of us at her table house, and after that I was with Nageki. I was alone living by myself for the first time, and I was more worried about Nageki. I hope he makes good friends, but he's never been very sociable. At least he will have an easier life there than here, and most importantly, they'll be looking for a cure. The summer of that year, he sent a lot of letters home. I'm going to be undergoing intensive treatment over the summer. I want to come home, but they said that it would be better for me. How are you? I'll write again soon. I asked Dr. Issa about a meeting, but he said no. I'm not the only one here with an unusual illness, and they have to be very careful about who comes in. Summer half over now. Is it hot out? The basement of the center is always the same light and the same temperature. I miss you, Hattori. I'm fine. I'm fine, Hattori. Don't worry about me. That's so weird. I was worried. Nageki hadn't told me he was fine since he promised not to three years ago. He was signaling that something was wrong. Oh. What are they doing no. to him? Are they doing something bad to him? I tried calling Dr. Issa, but he always replied with the progress is going good and everything is fine. It's fine. If everything is fine, why won't they let me talk to him? I snuck into the medical center. I needed to know if he really... If he's really alright. 
He said that he was undergoing intensive care in the basement. That must be where he is. How do I get there? I need... I need to the entrance to the basement. I need to go to the entrance of the basement. That was when I heard the alarm. I could hear urgent footsteps and the sound of wings. This building has all the most advanced equipment. They must have noticed me. But I was greeted at the corner, not by guard, but by the panic researchers. All shouted the same thing, all heading for the exit. Fire, fire. What? A fire? Subject 00 set a fire? Call the fire department? Black smoke rolls towards me from the inner corridors. Ngeki, where is Ngeki? Ngeki, say something, please. Where are you? It's happening again. Ngeki needs me and I'm not there. I always leave him alone when he's in pain. The smoke is clogging my lungs with its foul stench, but I run onwards anyway. Ngeki's there in a room filled with fire. Ngeki, it's me, Hattori. I'm here to save you. Hattori? What happened? What did they do to you? Come on, we have to get out of here. I'm sorry. His face is clouded. He shuts the door and I hear the lock click shut. Open the door, Nageki. Tori, I can't go outside anymore. I can't live anymore. What did they do to you? I'm a fool all this time. I thought you were getting better. I thought you'd come home cured. I should be the one apologizing. Nageki, please. Come home with me, Tora. Or home. Listen, Hattori. I recorded everything that happened here and hid it in the library. It's wrong. This is the only way to stop them. What are you talking about? We can't talk. We can talk later. I can't let you die. Can you do me a favor, Hattori? Anything, please. Please make sure there is nothing left of my body. And... And what? And why do they do this? Oh, oh every single time. Wait, but, but, but that doesn't look like the same bird. I had heard that he died after the fire, but it would seem their investigation was lacking. It's hardly easy to change your name and face. Nageki. He's calling. He's calling me, you know. So why is he white here? Is he possessing him? Is the ghost of Tori doing it? I don't think so. Isa, I can't... Because it said... It said it... It's his name. But why face? We'll see now. I came to greet Nageki. Where is he? I see you are losing hold of your sanity. I'm serious. I've been waiting for this from the beginning. He told me where you were doing to him here. But then you closed the faculty facility. I've been waiting for this, Isa. Waiting for you to open this place again. Ever since I joined the faculty. She hasn't done anything. He's still here, isn't he? Nageki. There was indeed some pieces of him left after the fire. They would have degraded in mere hours had I left them. If it pleases you to call those bits of meat Nageki Fujiro, I will not attempt to stop you. Don't call them bits of meat. But those pizzas have already been transferred to Mr. Kawara's body. Oh, hello, he's gone on a shooting spree. He won't die just yet, Isa. Don't worry. Don't worry. So tell me, where is Nageki? I have to take him home now. Wait. You're not going to go after Ryota, are you? If by Nageki you mean what was left of him after the fire, then it is Mr. Kawara's liver. Ah! What? Ew. Oh. Yeah. The cell from his body that contained the trouble and virus are now <coughs> inside Mr. Kawara's... Paralyzing him. Oh, great. Wait, Ryota's game paralyzed. Oh, is that it? I see. Thank you, Isa. Hang on just a little longer, Isa. I need to ask Nageki what he thinks we should do with you. Mr. Nageki comes over to me, the same soft smile on his face as when he teaches class.